Hello, welcome to the Bowersock Gallery. I'm Mike, and today we're gonna to be getting to know Catherine Nash, but I wanna give you some uh, details of what's coming up. On the 18th, we have a virtual show from five to six, and from 5.15 to 5.45, we'll have a Q&A with Emma Ashby and Catherine Nash too. Steve will be walking around trying to do all this. And then on the 19th from five to six, we'll be having an opening here at the gallery. So please join us. Also, sign up for us on our YouTube channel, Bowersock at YouTube, so you can follow all this. That was a lot. Hey, Catherine, how are you? I'm fine, Mike, how are you? <laughs> I'm really great. It was a lot to say for all of that. You did great. <laughs> um, well, I wanna start off the interview a little bit that you now, you're in Arizona. That's right. Too and soon. I believe, weren't you from New Hampshire or didn't you live in New Hampshire? Actually, I, I'm from Connecticut, but oh. I chose UNH as my undergrad school, and I, I actually went there. It was the first school I went to look at as a young young person, and I, I decided that's where I'm going. And I love New Hampshire. I'm I went to UNH for four years, and then I lived in Portsmouth for a while. Portsmouth is great. So obviously now you're in Tucson. Then that's right. That's Do you feel that Tucson inspires your work? Well, the desert does. You know, I. Um, at first, I would I really missed the ocean because I always considered myself an ocean person. But, you know, we are in the basin of an ancient ocean. You can find seashells. There's vast distances. The horizon is just um, inspiring. And so I realized as a sailor, because I was raised sailing with my dad, that what I loved was the distance I could see to the horizon. And as far as my art, you know, the... It's the space that that influences me, uh, rather than the actual landscape. I'd say that's it's really interesting because I find when I look at your art, I see a lot of spiritual influence in it. Is that part of it? Well, just it's it's a very important part of it actually. But it's it. I hope that my work can be interpreted in in varied ways. But as far as my own take on my own work, yes, I mean it. It's a, when I am starting to paint, I don't really use words. I go to a place of no word. You know, I do a lot of meditation and I, um, I'm i always trying to find a place of inner peace. So the work reflects that search for inner peace. Now, as we can see, the work that is behind you is a lot of the work that's coming to the gallery and, and, and I can't wait till it gets here. Where do you feel that this work has taken you? Well, I, I, I think it is a continuity. I mean, I've been a lifelong artist. I have, you know, have decades and decades of, of making art. And um, so there's a continuity of, of the idea. So recently I've been very involved with the night sky and the, the infinity I feel when I look at that, you know, it's just all striking to me. So I feel like it's, there is a a continuity which is what i said earlier so well i think though this is one of my favorite pieces that we have on the gallery from you and I, I see what you're saying with the night sky the mirror makes me think that it's reflecting what your thoughts are that may not be what you meant but that's what i've heard said about the piece where where do you feel that the work you know what have you learned from it where do you think it's you know done for you well because you know i was i was raised as a printmaker at unh i got my degree in printmaking and drawing and you really have to think out everything like from before you even start working it's like your image is done so by the time i got to this age i realized that i want to just react to the piece so create react create it's like a conversation with the art so um the work that i've been doing here is taking it a is taking it in a more deep level of of that search i think for that inner piece that is great well catherine um we're running in a little bit short on time here so there's going to be a part two catherine okay. will be joining me again um, I want to thank you for talking to me. And as we've said, go to our YouTube channel, Bowersock at YouTube, and that way you can follow what's going to be happening with all of the stuff going on at the gallery. 
Thanks again. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon, Catherine. Thank you.